Today in its 2015 Volvo XC70, we're going to review and install the Draw Type Max Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75916. Nice, great part about this is all you can see is the receiver opening right here. This is a class 3 receiver hitch, so this will have a 2 inch opening. It has a nice rounded finish to it. Now, if we take a look at the bottom, you can see the loop right here. That's for your safety chains. And work with a wide variety of safety chains. This is a very common shape right here to work with. Looking at the side of the receiver, you'll notice there's two holes here. The larger one's going to be your hitch pin hole, which you use a favorite hitch pin. 5 8 diameter, a regular pin and clip. Or you can use a J pin stabilization pin, which actually uses this other hole here. How that works, that'll slide in, and the J pin will go into here and press against any accessory inside here to keep it from rattling. Now the weight capacity of a hitch is rated for 400 pounds of tongue weight, which is a weight that pushes down on a hitch, and then it's good for 4,000 pounds of pulling weight. Now always double check for your owner's manual or your dealership to make sure your vehicle is configured to carry these kinds of weights. Next we'll give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories. These measurements will help you determine if you've got enough clearance to use the accessory. From top of the receiver opening down to the ground, it's going to be about 14 and a half inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of a bumper, it's going to be about six and a half inches. To begin our install, just let you know the bumper cover from here on down has to be removed, to be removed from the vehicle so we can install the hitch behind the bumper beam. To begin, we need to remove these four screws using a T25 Torx bit. Once you're finished with this side, we'll repeat the same process on the other side. Let's move underneath the vehicle now. There's two fasteners that have, uh, they're plastic here and here. We can remove them. I actually got lucky I could do it with my fingers. But if not, you can use a 10 millimeter socket and work them loose that way as well. There's a rubber stop on each side of the vehicle. This is the driver's side. We'll use a T20 Torx bit to remove the fastener on the inside to take out the whole bumper stop. At this point, we should be able to take off our bumper cover. You definitely want an extra set of hands to take the, pull the corner back out and remove it. I'm going to take this and pull straight out this way, and it's, there's a series of snaps all the way around this edge. Work our way around. Top the tail light. pull straight back. Our electrical connection has to be removed. We push down this tab right here and it comes apart. Let's take our bumper cover and put it somewhere safe to work on it later. This part here is for a towing eye. This has to be removed in order to we can take the bumper structure off. There is a, a fastener on the inside that we have to get to as well. So we'll re remove all our floor panels and get access to that. The fastener we're looking for is actually just right here below this panel. So when you remove this panel to get it out of the way to get access to that fastener. Now there's a fastener here and here we have to remove and you can use a 516 socket for this. Now there's a snap fastener underneath here so I'm going to use a plastic pry bar to help pop it loose and remove it. There. You definitely want to use 13 millimeter ratcheting box and wrench. To remove these two fasteners, we'll need a 13 millimeter socket. Now the fastener's out, we can take out this assembly. Let's move over to the driver's side and we'll remove these two bolts as well. 
It's using the same socket. And if we look down the bottom here, above the exhaust, there's one more we have to remove. And that's going to be on both sides. And then this bumper beam will come off. In this part, we got to take a look at the end panel here. And there's two different versions. Ours is the completely flat version. So you'll be using the original hardware that we just took out to reinstall the bumper cover and the hitch. However, there are some models that has a raised edge around here that prevents you from setting the hitch completely flat on this panel here. Well, if you have that, then you need to take the blocks that come with the kit, they install right here, then the hitch and it, um, bumper structure will sit on top of that. And when you get new hardware, that threads in. So at this point, we're ready to put the hitch on. I just laid it down on the floor. Then I'm gonna take our bumper structure, lay it on top, and line it up with the existing holes. Now's the time to get an extra set of hands to help hold it up and put it in position. Remember this component's gotta go back in. Put that on top and reinstall our hardware. Don't forget the bolt on the inside. Put that guy back together. Now one thing I did notice while assembling this uh, part in here when I put the bolts to, you can actually see through this hole right here, and I could tell that the bolt wasn't going all the way through the nut. I'm going to replace them with the bolts that came with the hitch. That way I know I got the enough bolt going all the way through the nut. With our hardware all loosely installed now, we'll tighten down the bolts. and then torque them down as specified in the instructions. Let's turn our attention to the bumper cover here. We have to make a cutout for the hitch. This tab right here is the center of our bumper cover. So I come down about all the way down to the bottom edge here. I need to measure across on each side one and a quarter inches. Then we'll go straight to the top to hold two inches here. and cut all of this out. I always tend to cut mine off just a little bit oversized because sometimes the, the fascia doesn't fit exactly back in center. So and it gives you some more wiggle room to put it all together as well. Just using 10 snips to go to the top and then I'll use a knife to cut across and score it. I'll do that a few times and break the plastic. Let's get our extra set of hands again, and we'll put our bumper cover back into place. Remember to plug in our electrical, push into a clicks, working from the center, or I should say, working from the back side here by the tailgate. Line it up and push it back into place. And just work our way towards the front, pop it all back into place. Okay, at this point, we can reinstall all our components that we took apart earlier and put the rest of our vehicle back together. And that'll finish it for part number 75916, draw type max frame trailer hitch receiver on this 2015 Volvo XC70.